To graph this equation, let's first compare it with the slope-intercept form. In the slope-intercept form, m in front of x represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. So, by comparing this equation with the slope-intercept form, we can see that the equation has a y-intercept of minus 2. Also, we can write the y-intercept as an ordered pair. So, let's plot the y-intercept in a coordinate system. Also, the equation has a slope of 4. And we can rewrite this as a fraction. Since the slope of a line is expressed as the ratio of the rise to the run, this tells us that the line of the equation has a rise of 4, and a run of 1. Now, let's count the rise and run in a coordinate system, starting at the y-intercept. Up 4 units, and then write 1 unit. Then, let's draw a line through these points and put arrows on both ends of the line. And this is the line of y equals 4x minus 2. 